If you're managing multiple WordPress sites, you probably keep switching between tabs, logging in and logging out, and remembering a bunch of passwords. Exhausting, right? What if I told you there's a way to control all your WordPress sites from just one dashboard? Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this using WP Remote, a tool that lets you manage unlimited WordPress sites from a single place. I'm talking about updating plugins and themes, managing users, monitoring uptime, running backups, and more without having to log into each site individually. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire setup process step by step. We'll cover how to connect your sites, set up the automatic updates, configure the backup schedules, and I'll even show you some pro tips that most people don't know about. This is Brian for Website Learners, and let's get started. First, we need to get a WP Remote plan. To get the plan, just click on the link in the description and it will take you to this page. Now scroll down and here you can see the WP Remote has different plans to choose from. And each plan has 25% to offer. You can choose the plan you want, select the number of websites you want to add and click buy now. Now you'll reach the payment page. Here you can enter your card details and click buy now. And we successfully made the payment and got the plan. Once you've got the plan, Next, let's see how to add your WordPress site. Once you have your websites here, you can easily manage them all from this page. To add your WordPress site, click Add Site on this dashboard and enter your website URL. And click Continue. Now to add your site to WP Remote, you need to install the WP Remote plugin on your WordPress website. To install the WP Remote plugin, you have two options. You can either add your website login details here and WP Remote will automatically install the plugin for you or download and install the plugin manually. So we are going to do it manually. So first let's download the plugin and the plugin will be downloaded to your computer. To install this plugin on the website, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Then go to Plugins, click Add Plugin, now click Upload Plugin, then choose the plugin that we downloaded. Now click Install and click Activate. The plugin will be installed and it will take you to the WP Remote. You can see that our website has been added here. And this is how you can add your WordPress website to WP Remote. Next, let's see how you can easily manage your site from here. Here you can see the overall status of your website, including the site health, backups, updates, performance, and security. So let's see them one by one. First, let's see how you can take a backup of your website. To check the backup details, just click here. Here you can see the backup timeline calendar showing all our scheduled backups. In the basic plan, you'll get one backup every day. And as you can see, a backup has already been taken for today. Now let's click on it to see the backup details. If you want to restore this backup, you can click here. So now if even something goes wrong, you can restore your site in seconds. Now that we've seen how to manage backups, let's move on to another useful feature in WP Remote, which is the one-click login. Now every time you want to make changes to your websites, you need to log in manually. With this feature, you don't have to log in manually to each site every single time. You can log in with just one click. Now just click on WP Admin. Okay, next, let's see how you can create a staging site. A staging site is a duplicate of your live site where you can test changes before applying them to the real site. To create a staging site, go back to the WP Remote Dashboard tab, scroll down to the staging section, and click Create Staging Site. You can select which backup version to use for your staging site. Just click on change. And here you'll see a list of backup versions which have been taken. Select it and click apply. And then click continue. Here you can review the site summary and click create staging to start the process. And your duplicate site has been created. Once it is complete, click here. Then click access WordPress admin and it will take you to the staging sites dashboard. Now you can make any changes here before updating your site live. This is how you can create the staging website. Next, let's see how you can manage the updates on your site. To manage plugin updates, let's go back to our dashboard. 
and click on our site. Now scroll down. And here you can see all the available updates for your plugins and themes. To update everything at once, just click here to select all the updates. Then click on the update button. And click confirm. As you can see, all the updates are completed. So with just one click, you can update all your plugins and themes and no need to log into each site separately. Now that we've seen the updates, let's move on to the next feature, which is visual monitoring. It automatically detects any visual changes on your site and notifies you right away. So let's see how to set up visual monitoring for your site. To set up visual monitoring, scroll down to the advanced monitoring section and click setup for visual regression. Click add monitor. And here you need to enter the URL of the page that you want to monitor. So let's go back to our website. I'm going to monitor the home page. So let's copy the URL. Then paste it here. Here select how often you want to monitor this page for visual changes. I'm going to set it for 30 minutes. And this means for every 30 minutes, WP Remote will check your site for visual changes. Next, you need to choose the threshold. This indicates how sensitive monitoring will be. So I'm going to select 1%, which means even small visual changes will be detected. Then click here and choose the website you want to monitor. Now scroll down and click fetch reference image. This captures the current state of your page which will be used for comparison. Finally click save. And now you'll know if there are any layout changes on your site making it easier to fix issues. So now we have successfully set up the visual monitor. So now let's go to advanced monitoring and click visual monitors. Here you can see we've got an active monitor. Click here and select view history. Then click on the view button. And as you can see, 38.7% of the page has been changed. Here's the before view of your page. Now go to the after tab to see the detected changes. This helps you quickly identify any visual updates or unexpected changes to your site. Okay, now that we've seen how WP Remote helps monitor changes on your site, let's look at some of the advanced features available in WP Remote. It'll help you boost performance, strengthen security, and manage your sites more efficiently. To use these features, you need to upgrade your plan. Just click here. Now click on your site. Now click here. And it'll take you to the pricing page. You can select the plan based on your needs. So I'm going to select the pro plan. So let's scroll down. And here you can choose the number of sites you want to manage based on which the pricing will change. I'm selecting five sites. Now let's scroll back up and click compare and proceed to continue. Here you can see the selected plan details. So let's click on review and check out. To complete the payment, click on pay securely and we successfully made the payment and upgraded the plan. So let's explore the advanced features that are now available to us. Click on go to dashboard to return to your account. Now if you scroll down, you will find the performance section. Right now, the performance score is 55% which could be better. Now if you click on the arrow here, you can see the detailed analysis of the website performance. To improve your site's performance, let's click on enable ad lift and this will automatically analyze your website and make necessary improvements like optimizing caching, boosting performance and reducing load times. Once the optimization is complete, you can see the improvements made to your site's loading speed and overall performance metrics. So this is how you can improve your site's performance using WP Remote. Now let's move on to the most important feature which is Security Scan. WP Remote offers premium security options to help protect your site from potential threats and vulnerabilities with automatic scans. To activate security scans, scroll down to the security section. Now enable this button and click here to see more information about the security features. As you can see here, it has found some malware files. To clean the detected malware, click on clean now. 
here uncheck reset user passwords and click continue to start the cleaning process click initiate and it starts the cleanup process and it's done now click on view cleanup report to see the detailed results of what was removed from your site so with just one click you can clean your site and keep it safe from malicious files now to prevent this in the future wp remote offers firewall protection that blocks malicious traffic and unauthorized access to the site now let's move on to enable the firewall and protection to enable the firewall and the protections go to security now scroll down and enable firewall then enable bot protection to activate your site security protection your site is now fully protected against malware bots and other threats now that your site is secure let's move on to the next feature which is creating reports these reports help you track all the work you've done on a site and share it with your clients easily to get a custom report first scroll down to the report section and click on create your first report now you can create customized cover pages for your report and to do that just click on cover page and here you can update the report title you can also add your logo just click on upload then select your logo then scroll down fill in these details and once you've customized everything click on create report and your report will be created so here's a preview of the report now you can download the finished report by clicking on download pdf and it will be downloaded to your computer once your report is ready you don't have to switch between tabs or tools you can send it directly to your client from here to send the report first you need to add your email here and to add the email click on send emails now click on add email enter your email address in this field add your name and click add send email now you need to verify this email address so just go to your email inbox and you will get this confirmation email just open it and click confirm to verify the address and that's it your email will be added to wp remote now let's see how to send the report to your clients let's go back to wp remote click here to go back to send the report click send report here enter the email address where you want to send the report then click here and select your sender email address and click send report and the email will be sent now let's check the inbox to see the report and here's our email with the report open the pdf attachment and you can see the complete report with all the site details we configured so now you successfully send the report to the client okay here's the last feature that can help you stand out which is white labeling this lets you add your logo and the brand to wp remote making it look like your own tool giving your clients a personalized experience to customize the plugin Let's go to white label. Now click on plugin white label. And here you can see all the text appearing on the plugin. You can change things like the plugin name, the description, and this is how it will look on your dashboard. Now click on save. And if we go to our dashboard and click refresh, you can see the plugin name and the details have been updated with our custom white label settings. So this is how you can add your website to WP Remote and manage it easily. In the same way, you can add multiple websites to your WP Remote. Just go back by clicking here and click add site. Now like we did before, you can add your WordPress website here. So when you have more client websites on WP Remote and want to update them with different criteria, you can add a tag to each site to organize it and identify what needs to be done for each site. To organize sites with tags, first click on sites here. then click on tags and click on create tag give a name to the tag pick a color for it and click save in the same way you can add more tags to assign these tags to our sites click here 
and select the site you want to assign this tag. Then click on save. Now if we go back to sites, you can see our sites have been organized with the tags site. And that's it. You successfully set up a complete WP Remote Workspace with all the essential features. From basic site management to advanced security tools and client reporting capabilities. To access WP Remote, check out the link in the description. And if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to Website Learners to see more videos from us. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.